In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a WooCommerce minimum order quantity in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download the MinMax Quantity Rules plugin. Assuming you've done so, let's head back over to our WordPress site. Okay, so here's an example which I created earlier. So here you can see the minimum we can order for this particular product is a quantity of five. And this is done on a global level. We can also set it on a product based level as well. So let's go ahead and add this to cart. Okay. And let's go ahead and view cart and let's reduce the quantity and see what happens. So if you remember the minimum we can order for this particular product is five. And here you can see we've got a message informing us that the minimum amount that we can add for this particular product is five and the user won't be able to check out until they meet the minimum requirement. So we can go ahead and update this and the message will go. Okay, so now let's head over to our WordPress dashboard and see exactly how we've set this rule up. Okay, so the first thing you would actually do is go ahead and upload and install the plugin in which you just downloaded. You'll see this Wii Suite menu here and then you wanna to navigate to the MinMax Quantity Rules plugin. And this is our global view here. So I'll just quickly run through the settings. So where it says applies to, we choose who we want to target with this particular rule. So we can select everyone, or we can select guest users, which are users logged out of our site, or we can target this to a specific user role as well. We can create multiple rules targeting at different customer segments. So here I've just selected everyone. And then where it says minimum quantity, here I've set the minimum quantity amount to five and then a maximum um, quantity to five as well. We can set a minimum order value as well and a maximum order value. So maybe we'll say the minimum order value is $250 to be able to check out or the maximum is maybe $1,000. You can set this up based on your requirement. And then here we've got a global default quantity. So this basically means when a user loads a particular product page, we can show them a default quantity. So let's say the minimum quantity is five, right? So maybe we want to show them a default quantity of 10. Even though it's 10, they'll still be able to choose as low as five. So that's where this global default quantity comes in. And here we've got our quantity step value, meaning we can create different order increments. So for example, here, um, we've set the order increments to five, meaning the user will be able to add the quantity to cart in groups of five. And then also I've enabled this option where it says display the quantities as a drop down. This is optional. You can disable it if you like, but this is how we set our global minimum order quantity rules. We can go ahead and click add new rule. And here we can create a whole different rule set targeting a different customer segment. So for example, we can create um, a specific rule for administrator or, or our wholesalers, our distributors, etc., etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and X this stuff. It's worth noting, we can set our minimum order quantity on a product level as well. So let me go ahead and show you how we can do it. Just remember our minimum order quantity on a global level is five. So let's go ahead on this product level and let's override that global minimum. So here on our product level, you'll notice this minimum maximum quantity rules area here. So again, just like the global level, we can choose who we wanna target with this particular rule. And then we can enter a minimum quantity, a maximum quantity, and also the order increments and the default value as well. And then we've got a few options here. So let's focus on the minimum order quantity. So let's set this to 10. So if you remember the global level is five, but on a product level, we wanna override that global settings. So let's go ahead and view product. Okay, and here you can see that the minimum order amount for this particular product is actually 10 and it's still increasing in increments of five. We can go ahead and change the order increments as well if we want. So where it says quantity steps, let's say 10 as well. So this will increase in increments of 10. Update this now. Okay, now let's refresh page. And there you can see it's increasing in increments of 10. If you didn't want to drop down, as I said, you can go ahead and um, disable this option and it will just work just the same, but without a drop down. And that's how you create a minimum order quantity in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.